The U.S. Navy's newest and most advanced submarines, the Virginia class, have been decades in the making. But as they're continuing to be rolled out into the world's oceans, constant upgrades are making this type of attack sub one of the most advanced on the planet. Let's take a closer look at what makes this underwater beast so lethal and the recent upgrades that take it to the next level. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Virginia-class submarine was born out of the Cold War era, emerging from the U.S. Navy's desire for a new generation attack submarine that would be cost-effective while still meeting strategic and operational demands. The program, initially conceptualized under the Centurion study, looked for a viable alternative to the Seawolf-class submarines, which, while advanced, came with a hefty price tag of nearly $2.8 billion per unit. As a result, General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Industries were tasked with creating a more affordable and versatile submarine. By incorporating commercial off-the-shelf technology, leveraging 3D visualization techniques, and streamlining production, the manufacturers were able to deliver a new class of submarines that would meet the Navy's evolving requirements. The Virginia class was the first American warship designed using this state-of-the-art 3D visualization technology, enhancing efficiency in production and maintenance. Construction of the Virginia class began with the USS Virginia, laid down in September of 1999, and launched in August of 2003. This marked the start of a long-term submarine production strategy with successive vessels, including USS Texas, USS Hawaii, and USS New Hampshire rolling out under a systematic multi-year procurement approach. The Navy employed block contracts to facilitate cost control and efficiency, purchasing submarines in groups to benefit from economies of scale. By 2014, the Navy had signed a $17.6 billion contract to construct 10 more Virginia-class submarines, and in December of 2019, another $22 billion contract was awarded to build nine Block 5 submarines. The Virginia-class submarines were designed with several key innovations that set them apart from their predecessors. Measuring 377 feet in length, with a 34-foot beam, and displacing nearly 8,000 tons, these submarines were slightly smaller than the Seawolf-class, but packed with cutting-edge technology. One of the most distinctive features is the use of modular construction, which allows different sections of the submarine to be built separately and then assembled. This method increases efficiency and reduces the overall cost of production. Additionally, the Virginia class features a unique bow design and the integration of anechoic coatings, which help reduce acoustic signatures and enhance stealth capabilities. The Command and Control Systems module was developed by Lockheed Martin, integrating the submarine's sensors, navigation, and weapons control into a streamlined system. This approach, based on open system architecture, makes it easier to upgrade the submarine's technology over time. The control suite is particularly advanced, featuring computer touchscreens and joystick controls for improved maneuverability. Another notable aspect of the design is the elimination of traditional optical periscopes. Instead, the Virginia class employs photonic masts equipped with high-resolution cameras, thermal imagers, and laser rangefinders. This non-penetrating mast allows the crew to gather intelligence without compromising stealth. The Virginia class is powered by the GE-designed S9G pressurized water reactor, which provides energy for the submarine's propulsion system and onboard electronics. One of the most significant advancements is the reactor's extended lifespan, designed to last for the entire operational life of the submarine without requiring refueling. This innovation reduces maintenance costs and enhances the submarine's availability for missions. The propulsion system features two turbine engines driving a single shaft connected to a pump jet propulsor. Unlike traditional propellers, the pump jet system significantly reduces noise, making the Virginia class one of the quietest submarines ever built. This low acoustic signature is crucial for stealth operations, allowing the submarine to move undetected through enemy waters. The Virginia class can operate at speeds exceeding 25 knots while submerged and reach depths of more than 800 feet. The integration of automated controls and an advanced sailing system ensures precise maneuverability in both deep water and littoral environments. Armed with a versatile range of weaponry, 
The Virginia class is designed for both deep ocean anti-submarine warfare and shallow water operations. The submarines feature 12 vertical launch system tubes capable of firing Tomahawk cruise missiles, which can strike land-based targets with pinpoint accuracy. Each sub can launch 12 Tomahawk missiles in a single salvo, giving it substantial strike capabilities. Additionally, the submarines are equipped with four 533mm torpedo tubes, allowing them to launch MK-48 ADCAP torpedoes, which are highly effective against enemy submarines and surface ships. These torpedoes use advanced homing technology to track and engage targets with precision. The Virginia class can also deploy MK-60 captor mines and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles, providing a wide range of offensive options. For special operations, the submarines include an integral lockout chamber designed to support Navy SEAL teams. This chamber can host a mini-submarine, such as the Northrop Grumman Advanced SEAL Delivery System, enabling covert insertion of special forces into hostile environments. The Virginia-class submarines are equipped with one of the most advanced sonar suites in the world, including a bow-mounted active and passive sonar array, high-frequency active sonar on the keel and fin, and the TB-29A thin-line towed array sonar. These systems provide extensive underwater detection capabilities, allowing the submarine to track enemy vessels at great distances. To enhance its stealth capabilities, the Virginia class incorporates an acoustic countermeasure system developed by Northrop Grumman. This system provides real-time range and bearing data while also deploying decoys to mislead enemy sonar. Lockheed Martin's latest electronic support measure system is also included, providing full-spectrum radar processing, automatic threat warning, and situational assessment. The Virginia-class submarines are now a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's undersea fleet, but most currently in service belong to the earlier Block 1 through 3 variants. Only three Block 4 submarines are operational, yet the most advanced version, Block 5, is set to revolutionize undersea warfare. A key upgrade is the Virginia Payload Module, an 84-foot hull extension designed not only to carry additional weapons, but also to support seabed warfare operations. The VPM significantly increases missile capacity, allowing the submarines to carry an additional 28 Tomahawk missiles, bringing the total number of potential launches to 40. This enhancement greatly expands the Virginia class's role as a strategic strike platform. The module could also be adapted for specialized undersea missions rather than solely housing cruise or hypersonic missiles. Despite their advanced capabilities, production delays and budget constraints have slowed the introduction of new Virginia-class submarines. Experts estimate the program is running 41 months behind schedule, with hopes of regaining lost ground by 2028. Given rising global tensions, the arrival of these cutting-edge submarines is more critical than ever. The U.S. Navy is also ramping up its Virginia-class submarine modernization efforts by awarding an $11.9 million contract to Progeny Systems, a subsidiary of General Dynamics Mission Systems, to upgrade weapon launch systems. This contract focuses on integrating the common weapon launcher into older Block 1 and 2 submarines, improving operational flexibility and expanding payload options. Progeny Systems, known for its work on submarine combat systems, will complete the upgrades at its Manassas, Virginia facility by July of 2026. This contract is part of the broader push to modernize the Virginia class. The Navy recently awarded Goodrich Corporation $20.7 million for nuclear-powered propulsors, shifting from longtime supplier BAE Systems, while General Dynamics Electric Boat secured nearly $1 billion for spare parts and support. Meanwhile, L3 Technologies is supplying new towed array motors to enhance sonar capabilities. In parallel with these upgrades, H2 has completed sea trials for USS New Jersey, and the Navy has christened the future USS Idaho. The Virginia-class submarine represents a remarkable achievement in naval engineering, blending affordability, advanced technology, and combat effectiveness. From its inception as a cost-effective alternative to the Seawolf-class, to its evolution into a versatile and highly capable attack submarine, the Virginia class has proven to be an essential asset to the U.S. Navy. With its state-of-the-art propulsion system, stealthy design, and powerful arsenal, the Virginia class is well-equipped to dominate undersea warfare for decades to come. The continuous upgrades and improvements, such as the introduction of the Virginia payload module, 
ensure that this class of submarines remains at the cutting edge of naval warfare. As production continues and newer blocks are developed, the Virginia class will continue to be a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's undersea fleet, capable of responding to emerging threats and securing America's dominance beneath the waves. What are your thoughts on this class of sub? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.